This video came from anti-regime activists in Syria. They say it shows the aftermath of a government airstrike on a petrol station in the suburbs of Damascus. Estimates of the dead in this attack, some reports say they included armed rebels, run as high as 50. It is as hard as ever to get accurate information out of Syria. Almost no foreign observers are in the country, and big parts of it are simply inaccessible. But now the UN Human Rights Office says that it has an accurate roll call of the dead, startlingly bigger than previous estimates. The UN employed outside specialists to go through casualty lists compiled by six human rights groups, as well as the Syrian government. They've come up with a list of 59,648 dead until November, fully identified, the UN says, by first and family names and the date and location of death. Many more have died since then. Most previous estimates, including the one used by Britain, say between 40 to 45,000 have died. The destruction and death, the UN says, could have been avoided if President Assad's regime, this is one of its strongholds in Damascus, had not ruthlessly suppressed what started as peaceful protests. Now, though, it's a civil war, and the UN also had harsh words for the way the world has responded. Certainly we failed, you know, collectively, internationally, whether you talk about the UN or individual governments or neighboring countries, we've all failed. And this conflict has gone spiraling downhill. Again, what this data shows uh, released today is that the number of casualties appears to have gone up fivefold between the summer of 2011 and the summer of 2012 five times as many people being killed. But diplomacy is no match for the logic of bloodshed. In Damascus before Christmas, we saw these rebel fighters being trained for what is already a long war, sending increasingly dangerous waves of instability out into the world's most volatile region.